Hi, this is Miles Marie, the soldier of Mary. Today, I want to talk about a very special occasion in Garabandal in 1961, when the Blessed Virgin Mary's voice was recorded on audio tape. So we all know from the videos I put up recently how the children were recorded chanting in ecstasy, talking to the Blessed Virgin Mary, praying the Hail Mary, praying the Rosary, singing the Salve Regina, singing popular hymns. Lots of recordings were made of the children talking to the Virgin Mary in ecstasy. I recently heard one of the children whispering. Actually, this is a really interesting thing. It seems like when the children generally were speaking with the Blessed Virgin in ecstasy, they kind of spoke in whispers. That's pretty strange, right? Anyway, today I want to talk about an occasion when an attempt was made to record the Blessed Virgin Mary's voice on the audio tape. Okay, so in 1961, in August, pretty early on in the days of the apparitions, just after Conchita has returned from Santander, where she's been interviewed and she's enjoyed being on the beach a few days and she's kind of lost a bit of interest in the apparitions, but still had two apparitions while she was in Santander. She comes back to Garabandal. Everyone is thinking, oh, it's over, Garabandal's over. But actually, while Conchita's been away, the other three girls have been having visions and ecstasy. And so here we go, the beginning of August, and one of the guys that comes up to the village has with him a recording device. Okay, so the children have actually never seen a recording device like this before. 1961, rural Spain, this kind of technology was really not really known of. So the guy who's brought this microphone with him shows the children the recording device, a microphone, whatever it is, the tape recorder. Who was he? It sounds like he was a psychiatrist from Salamanca, from a psychiatric hospital there or something, who out of curiosity had come over to see the apparitions. In the report by the chief of police, Juan Seco, he suggests it's a man called Angel Dominguez Boraguero. And she went in the haste in the mountain, doesn't give us a man's name, but it gives us the account. So the man comes up to the children and says to them, he's a bit of a stranger, they've never met him before. He says to them, he shows them how the recorder works. He shows some demonstrations, recording them, playing it back to them. They're fascinated. And then he says to them, if you see the Virgin again, tell her to talk through here. Okay. And at that point, the girls, later on, later on that day, I guess, the girls fall into ecstasy. And it's actually Mary Lowley who's the one who has been given the microphone by this guy from Salamanca. She's got the microphone in her hand. And so she says to the Blessed Virgin, why don't you say something so that everyone can hear your voice? And actually, the man with the microphone writes down what the children are saying. And actually, she says, Mary Lowley says precisely, a man has come with a thing that takes down everything, everything that is said. Why don't you say something so that everyone can hear you, so that the people will believe? Go ahead, say something. Yes, talk, say something. Not for us, so that the people believe. Okay, and eventually the ecstasy ended. I don't know how long it lasted. Actually, quite a lot of the ecstasies didn't last hours. I read recently on the report of Father Ramon Andreo, who wrote a little diary of the early days of his visit to Garabandal. Father Ramon Andreo, he talks about how he records some of the ecstasies, you know, takes keeps track of the time. And quite a lot of them were 10 minutes, 15 minutes, five minutes, half an hour. There were some that lasted hours and hours and hours. But that wasn't the norm. Quite a lot of them were short. So there's this short ecstasy with the Blessed Virgin where this question is asked to her. And of course, the people around at the time, they don't hear the Virgin Mary saying anything. So given the fact that, that normally recording devices, they're, they're measuring the vibration in the air, just like, just like our ears are measuring vibrations. And so it's strange that the people around do not hear the Virgin Mary say anything. So it doesn't seem like any vibrations were produced in the air and that the voice was just shot straight into the intellects of the children. That's how apparitions usually work. 
So, however, let's jump to the next part of the story. The next part of the story. So eventually when the ecstasy ended, the girls the girls say that Our Lady had said she wouldn't speak to them. She wouldn't say anything through the tape recorder. But then they all sit down and play the tape recorder. And at that moment, at that moment, when they're just listening to the line of Mary Lowley saying, not for us, so that the people believe, they hear, they hear at that moment, a sweet, ineffable voice, a beautiful voice. The witnesses who heard it, and there were people gathered around listening to this playback. They said they heard, no, I will not speak. They heard an unknown, beautiful feminine voice saying, no, I will not speak. And then at that moment, Loli and Jacinta exclaimed together, oh, that's the voice of the Virgin. And everyone was excited. You know, obviously, Maximina gives her witness to this. She says that people started to cry because they've heard the voice of the Virgin. It was something exceptional. People started saying, the man that owned the, the, the tape recorder, he said, I'm going to send this to the Pope. This is definitive. This is definitive proof of the apparitions. Okay, so more people gathered around, naturally. More people want to hear the recording. More people gather around and they play the recording a second time. But at the proper moment, they don't hear a thing. So the second time the tape is played, nothing. Just Mary Lowley saying, not for us, so that the people believe. Okay, so they've been in the pines when all this is going on. They've been using the recording device, playing it back in the pines where the apparition had taken place. And so now they go back to Mary Cruz's house, apparently. They go to Mary Cruz's house. It's um, She went in Ace of the Mountain, who says that they went to uh, Mary Cruz's house. Father Ramon, he adds in his report of the account that actually they went to the house of Conchita, because she hadn't been in the vision, apparently. And so they went to her house in order so that she could hear the voice of the Virgin or she could hear the the report. She could hear what the, the other girls were going to say. And so whether they went to Mary Cruz or Conchita's house, Conchita was there and they played it back to Conchita. And now this time, the third time the recording is played back, Conchita hears the voice. Everyone hears the voice again. It, no I will not speak. And Conchita smiles and she said very happily, she confirmed for the others very happily, yes, yes, it was the Virgin. That was her voice. She was speaking there. And so, so this is, this is amazing. Okay, so what happens next? Okay, so after that, after that, they tried to play the voice again. And to this day, to this day, the voice has never been heard on that recording. So, I mean, we would have imagine if, if, if you had been there and heard it that time, how awesome it would have been. And there's a number of individuals, there's a number of individuals who heard the recording being played back that day. And they have said that they will never forget the sound of that voice. One individual said, I will go to the grave with the conviction of having heard the Virgin's voice. Actually, 12 individuals who heard the Virgin's voice that day signed a document willing to be witnesses to the uh, fact that they heard the voice. And in the book by Sanchez Ventura, there's a name, age and address of seven of these witnesses of the voice of the Blessed Virgin Mary. OK, what to make of this? OK, it's possible that it was kind of auto-suggestion on behalf of those who are listening to the audio playback. They want to hear the Virgin Mary. They want to hear her saying something. So they say, they imagine that they hear something. It's strange that they hear it, then they don't hear it, then they hear it, then it's never heard again. That's strange, that kind of back and forth thing. It's strange that the girls who had no reason to self-suggest the, the the reality of the voice on the audio tape. It's interesting that they say they hear it, but maybe if they're lying about all the apparitions, then of course they're going to try and be very, they're going to be very pleased about the idea of people hearing the voice. I thought initially, or maybe some woman in the crowd 
is answering on behalf of the Virgin. No, I will not say, you know, maybe someone was there standing by, but it doesn't make sense why it would only be heard once, then not, then once again, and then never again. So it's a really strange occurrence. I'm not sure how we can solve this. I think, again, it does point to the truth of the apparitions of Our Lady at Garabandau, that this kind of thing took place. But how did the voice get on there? I mean, I guess miraculously, miraculously, a voice which is disembodied, which belongs to Our Lady, that the children normally hear, so it normally is received straight into their intellects. Instead of being just received into their intellects, it's also received inside the tape recorder, imprinted on the electromagnetic film or however it works. And so so in some sense, that's like a second miracle. And then a third miracle is that electromagnetic film clears or that kind of tiny section of the film clears. Then it returns again. Then it hears or maybe maybe it's better to say that the miracle is like this, that actually the recording never had Our Lady's voice on it, but that the people, when the recording is played back, they all have the grace of receiving Our Lady's voice into their heads, saying, no, I will not say this. It's adding that into the recording, superimposing it into their recording, actually not going onto the electromagnetic film, but going into their heads as they listen to the electromagnetic film. I don't know. I don't know. Maybe you've got some better ideas to explain this miracle at Garabandal. May Almighty God bless you. May Our Lady intercede for you in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen.